This video is part of the UKRI's Net Zero Digital Research Infrastructure Scoping Project, which aims to develop a clear roadmap with actions to reach Net Zero DRI in the UKRI by 2040. This action has been made necessary due to the climate emergency. We are in a climate emergency. Climate change is embedded in everything. We clearly need action and we need it now. So we know that things need to change, both in our personal lives and at work. This project is focusing on the work side of things and is creating evidenced solutions for a particularly energy intensive infrastructure, which is used by researchers across all nine of the UKRI's research sectors. It's called Digital Research Infrastructure, or DRI for short. So the digital research infrastructure is the infrastructure, the digital infrastructure, computers, hardware, software and people that we need to support science in the UK. And that's supporting the science that comes, so the data that comes out of big experiments, things like CERN, the large facilities here at RAL, satellites uh, and storing, processing that data, but also creating the software that we need to simulate systems um, and the people, the people and skills that you need to run that to do all of that. Given that DRI is an umbrella term that encompasses such a broad range of different things from software to tech to data storage methods, the Net Zero DRI scoping project is tackling the issue from a really wide angle too. What they've done is put together a, a, a whole community of people, not just scientists, but researchers, academics, communication specialists, data specialists, to put our collective brains together and come up with some solutions. The legacy of the project will be the understanding that's created through the meetings that have been run in the project. It will be the community of people who've been working together. Uh, I hope there will also be an ability to carry on the work of the project, although the, um, the scoping effort has to come to an end, but I believe the community engagement effort needs to continue. This collaboration within the community has been essential to creating the interim report, which was released in August 2022 and covers the initial recommendations across 10 key themes. One particularly important theme to address is procurement. So all of the electronic equipment that we use has to be manufactured somewhere, and there are mineral resources that are mined and that requires energy. Those need to be transported to the place where the manufacturing happens, and then there's the energy that's used in the manufacturing of those products. And whereas in the UK, we know that we're moving towards, and we have an ambition and a trajectory towards a lower carbon electricity, that's not the case everywhere in the world. Although digital research infrastructure is really energy intensive, it also has so many benefits for climate change solutions and other groundbreaking research. So data and computation are essential parts of the modern research environment, and that includes things like modelling the structure of the universe, predicting climate change, studying the behaviour of viruses, etc. A lot of those, the, the work that's being conducted in those research councils and the laboratories can be quite intensive in terms of computation. So for that, we need to have machines that are available to the scientists in order to carry on with their work. Today, it's very difficult to, to, to do science or to do any piece of work without using computers. <laughs> but it's a really important tool to help us with our lifestyles to use less carbon in terms of traveling. I can meet with people in three different countries just on my computer and it's amazing. The final report is due in June 2023 and will collate evidence from all of the funded SAMPIT projects, consortium-led case studies and the user behaviour survey. Information about all of the different project activities can be found on our website or to get a flavour of the recommendations so far, you can read the interim reports using the link below. Thank you so much for watching and please share with your community.